Hello, everybody. My name is Provis, and welcome back to more Democracy 4. Playing in the United Kingdom, going for a syndicalist run to improve up with the trade union. Now, we have started to grow the GDP by a fair bit. As long as that continues to grow, we will be looking at a pretty massive surplus I can use to spend. Obesity is gone. The ghettos are gone. Health has skyrocketed. All of this is good. Unfortunately, we are looking at a doctor's strike soon. Well, thank you for that. Ugh, this is the one downside of going for a syndicalist run. The stronger the trade unions are, the more problematic they get. Apparently, wages are generally speaking too low. Well, we probably have to invest a bit more in the state healthcare service. We need to drop this down a smidge, so that's going to become a problem. Foreign presidential visit. The president of a nation with a fast-growing economy has invited you to an official state visit. The visit could be an excellent opportunity to encourage trade with that country, which would be great for jobs, but the country's record on human rights is highly questionable. I don't care! We're going to do that anyway. GDP goes up, ethnic minorities and liberals are extremely upset. All right, debatably, that was not worth it, but I mean, okay. So let's see. We're going to go to the state health care. Where the heck is that? Is this it? This is it. We have to raise this up, which I hate to do because it's expensive. Um, but, but we have to because otherwise we have a doctor strike. And we all know once you get the doctor strike, it is extremely hard to get rid of that. Also, a little bit of extra money in here would reduce the hospital overcrowding a smidge as well. So if we can at least get up to this stage... Excellent health provision, right? We'll have the, uh, what is it called? The NSS? NHS? NHS is going to be significantly improved. Eh, it's only going to cost me a few billion extra uh, pounds. It's not great, but I mean, it's something. And we'll have some more state employees and higher socialism. So, I mean, that's all good. All right, hate to do it, but we have to. Let's go ahead and spend six more political capital. We're still looking at about a 12 billion surplus right now. We could actually afford to reduce some taxes on people, but that just sounds ridiculous. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Um, what else could we work on here? Well, there's a stamp out racism. What I want to do is start subsidizing trade unions... But, maybe we can't do that this second. Free eye tests, that's a way of improving health further, but to be honest, I think we're okay on health for a while. Um, Cyberbullying, none of that's going to be good. Transportation, we probably should take some effort to reduce the amount of car usage currently being done, so we're going to spend a tiny bit of money trying to do some of those campaigns and see if we can reduce that. Cycling, also good for the health, as well as reducing everything else. I just want to prevent us from getting to a major traffic congestion issue, because right now, I mean, it's pretty high. You know, it's pretty bad, and of course, the higher the GDP goes up, the more people seem to be uh, driving around, which is not great. Also, the fuel efficiency standards, you know, as nice as this is, it is increasing how much people feel like they can drive, because gas is, you know, more uh, is more affordable, because cars aren't guzzling quite as much. Uh, we could boost up some bus usage. Don't think that's too important. I really, really want to get some big stuff, but we can't quite generate enough political capital to make the big sweeping changes that I really want. This guy's experience has gone up a fair bit. What do we need to do to make you more loyal? We need to make conservatives happy. All right, let's take a look at conservatives as a group and see why they're upset at me. The illegal immigration crisis is a huge problem. Agreed. What can we do to fix it? Well, border controls, more immigration rules. I mean, really, it's going to come down to border controls, isn't it? Gosh, this upsets so many people is the only problem. We've got to get rid of that illegal immigration one way or another, but the only way to do that is going to end up being tanking my economy in some way or another. And now that ghettos are gone, it's actually going to start fixing itself, too. Like, yikes. We should reduce the illegalized gambling a bit. This doesn't have much impact on me, but it does reduce organized crime, and that's not going down much on its own as is. So we'll go ahead and move on. Credit rating gets upgraded again. Okay, we are now looking at a, what is it, a A rating? Let's see, capitalists like this, GDP goes up, business confidence goes up. We are now an A. That's very good. New major party donor. Beautiful. Budget is looking good. 15 billion. Okay, with the global economy in a recession, we're still looking pretty fine here. That's awesome. Uh, let's take a look at popularity and see... I don't care necessarily about... No, no, I don't care about all this. None of these are actually important to me. What I want to know is what is happening as far as the Human Development Index. Uh, I don't remember what that is labeled under. Human Development Index. It's a very important metric that we have already discovered. Tends to make a very big difference 
in your odds of getting voted back in. That's gender, no, that's uh, age gap. This is business confidence, which has actually gone up quite a bit. That's huge. I have no idea where the human development index is. I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Stability. What improves, hang on, health improves the human development index, right? There it is, human development, this factor. Okay, it is going up. It's been going up under our tenure. This going up in and of itself is huge. This tends to win you elections, I find. So we're gonna try for that. Um, I wanna increase wages, but we need to get rid of the uncompetitive economy. This is still pretty high because productivity is still low. We've got 16 political capital to work with. Is there anything I could do that would make a big difference? Well, small business grants would not be it. Vertical farm subsidies, probably not. Workers on the boards, this would hurt productivity, which is not what I'm looking for yet. What could we do to improve productivity? This is where having the extra industrial automation is actually a good thing. Hmm. Microgeneration, good for the environment, and that's about it. I mean, I could save up a load of points and try to go for the rare metal earth, or rare uh, earth metal mining, but I don't see that as being very good for me. I want to get this, but that costs a lot. Huh. Well, let's go for something like uh, public libraries. This is somewhat expensive, but not that bad. And we're going to go ahead and max that out with the goal of greatly increasing education without having to increase our state uh, education services, which, of course, are very expensive. And then I think I'm going to hold on to these six points and we'll move on to our next turn. We got a Nobel Peace Prize. Well, dang, dude. Am I just, like, awesome or what? Crime is non-existent. Gridlock is on its way. Okay, so we definitely have to get rid of these traffic congestion, which means we need to reduce car usage by a lot. Um, and quickly is the only major downside. If we go down to transportation, congestion charging might do this. It will upset motorists, probably by a lot. But it will reduce traffic congestion and car usage both directly. Which is pretty decent. New cars will not help me. Telecommuting mm, will. And we want to do this anyway to make trade unionists happy. So we'll max this out to reduce that car usage by a lot. And then under transportation. We could go for things like high speed rail. Which actually improves productivity. I didn't know that. Oh, wait a minute. State airline improves productivity? What? Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know that uh, some of these did that now. That's a relatively new change. Well, a little bit of this actually does reduce car usage. We're going to go for that. Um, it's a pretty small improvement in productivity unless you go for something really freaking fast and expensive. But if we go for maglev trains, as expensive as this is, commuters love it. Air travel goes down, unemployment goes down, car usage takes a huge drop. International trade goes up, and we get some productivity. I don't think it's really worth how much we're spending for that little bit of productivity, but it's something. We'll go ahead and apply that. Six billion more pounds. Ouch, dude. All right. Bike subsidies. Reduce that car usage a bit more, and everything else. And that's all I've got. Move on to the next turn. What do we got? A message from a minister who is not happy. Wants more religious stuff. Ah, Yes, we haven't exactly been doing that at all uh, up to this point, have we? No, we have not. Um, uh, what can we do? What can we do to make religious people happier? Well, the credit rating just got upgraded again. My God, our surplus keeps going up because our credit rating keeps going up. Religious, where are you? Religious. You're unhappy because of secularity and of education. If we focused a bit more on a science emphasis rather than secular or atheist? Wow. This, this has changed. This, this used to be just evolution policy. Now it's secularity of education and atheism is maximum, which is assumed to be the pro-science, pure atheist, as opposed to fundamentalism, which is considered to be pure religious. Fascinating. Well, if I were to reduce this a bit, though, this reduces liberalism membership, which works well for me for creating more conservatives and reducing them as a power block. It also creates more religious and makes them happier. 
So I think we're going to do this. Let's go for a science emphasis and see if that will improve the groups that we're looking for. And then honestly, I guess maybe drug enforcement. We can have the war on drugs to try and reduce organized crime. I'm surprised this doesn't have negative implications. Right, because obviously the war on drugs is an extremely unpopular thing that's gone on for a while. So I kind of would have expected that uh, there'd be some sort of an other implication here. Maybe there will be, and it's a hidden thing that I'm not aware of. But we're going to go ahead and reduce organized crime further that away. It is going down, it's just not quite gone. If we could get rid of that crime, though. I mean, crime is already basically non-existent. I think when crime has gone down to zero, organized crime should automatically just go away. Personal opinion. Personal opinion. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who's been playing democracy games for a while. Oh, there goes one of our major boners, uh, donors. Whatever, don't care. Trade agreement. A group of Western countries established an initiative to set up a new trade agreement regulating tariffs, quotas, and other trade restrictions. This contract should help to prevent emerging countries from catching up and secure worldwide economic dominance at the expense of global equality. I think this is the sort of thing that our unions would appreciate, so we're going to go ahead and sign it. Capitalists love it. Foreign relations goes down. That sucks. Liberals hate that policy. Wow. No impact on trade unions whatsoever, though. Unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Well. Productivity, uncompetitive economy is still trickling down bit by bit. Technology grants are helping a little. Do we solve the issue of the traffic congestion? It is going down. I think we were able to avoid gridlock. Man, that advisor has been saving my bacon. This illegal immigration problem, though, is just not going away. What's my refugee policy? The thing is, we could increase immigration by reducing illegal immigration. Or, sorry, other way around. Yeah. I need to reduce illegal immigration specifically. We can pull back on immigration itself later if needed, but we have to get rid of this event. The problem with it, I'm looking at this start and stop trigger. It's really high and really easy to get back up there. I'm honestly shocked that it's as high as it is. Border controls, more biometric checks. Upset some folks, but reduce illegal immigration by a lot. Let's go for just an upgrade of six right here. Six political power. And I think I'm going to save the rest of my political power because I want to do some subsidization for the unions. A royal baby! For royalists' thoughts of succession. For everyone else, cute baby photos. When a future monarch is born into our nation's royal family, there's something for everyone. Well, at least something for enough voters that we can pass that tricky legislation without too much press coverage. Smile for the cameras, your majesties. Missing a comma down over here. Yeah, I don't really understand why there is such an unbelievable fascination with the royal family of the UK, and actually a lot of royal families in general. Like, I don't care at all what the royal family does and who they marry and whether they're getting, you know, children, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. Only thing that matters, right, is, is Queen Elizabeth ever going to die? That's the only thing that actually matters in the UK. Everything else is superfluous as far as I'm concerned. 48% of the vote, by the way, you can notice we have been jumping by a fair bit as far as our approval ratings, so that's good. Hospital overcrowding has actually taken a bit of an increase, which is not good. Private health care is non-existent. Okay. So what this tells me is we still need to reduce hospital overcrowding. Healthcare demand is too high. It's immigration again, dude. Um, I mean, improving health a bit further. It's already at max. There's not much more we can do there. We have to get rid of immigration somehow. I don't know how, though. Uh, our religious trade unionist person is still giving me grief, apparently. What else can we do to make the religious happy? We've got to work on that. Let's see. They do not like that we have gay marriage law. Well, it's increasing liberalism membership, so I think we probably want to pull this back a bit. Um, it would upset some folks, but at least we get rid of that liberalism membership. Yeah. Th this is kind of a weird threshold. None, low, medium, high, or maximum. I feel like it's either is or isn't, right? Still, if I pull this back by a bit, it costs 14. I want to go to 7. That's not a lot of change in the religious, though. What else can we do for the religious group? What else can we do to improve the Anglican Church? I just realized that all of a sudden, by focusing on the religious group, we're not that far off of my original UK playthrough in Democracy 3, in which I turned the UK into a uh, theocratic state. 
Family planning. You really don't like family planning, huh? Really, though? Is it that... Is it that big of a deal? Okay. Well, we can do this. Uh, it increases parent membership, which could be a problem. Gender equality goes down. Health goes down. All right. Well, it also makes the conservatives happy, so I see this as an almost absolute win. We'll try for that. Um, what else you don't like? The gender transition law. That's a thing. We actually don't even have that much as far as gender transition law, and it's already making you super angry that it's got any at all. What do I have to do? Outright cancel it? Actually, interestingly enough, canceling it is cheaper than some other options. Oh, that's interesting. Wait a minute. Yeah, we actually want to cancel this entirely. We're canceling all gender transition law there. That way, we are going to get a huge boost with the conservatives and with the religious. Now, I am concerned that the liberal group is still way too high in terms of its membership. We've got to find ways to bring this down. Race Discrimination Acts is shockingly making a huge change. Yeah, that's a huge amount of liberalism in membership. Uh, we will have to reduce that a little bit. That's going to cause problems as far as racial tension and such, but we have to reduce that. Absolutely have to. I don't want to spend a lot of points, though. Citizenship for sale. What is this? Where immigration causes concern about an influx of low-paid workers or those who are dependent on the state or otherwise represent a drag on the resources, citizenship may be granted to those immigrants who have considerable personable wealth. Fascinating. Increases capitalist membership because wealth is power. Immigration goes up. Socialists are unhappy, but the GDP goes up because we're bringing in wealthy people. Fascinating. That's not what I want to do, but it's fascinating. Uh, let's see. Taxation? No. School meals only helps with things like health and stuff. I don't care about that. Public religious broadcasts would solve the religious issue, but it also increases racial tension. There's not a lot of ways that you can improve the religious membership without making liberals and ethnic minorities really upset. Tech colleges could be good for me. We don't have any university grants at all? Really? That's crazy to me. Um, the thing is, I've only got 17 points. How much do we generate per turn? 17? How much is the, um, government subsidies for the trade unions? Because that's the other thing that I really want. 19. In theory, we should only need to save, like, two points. So, if I want to do something like tech colleges, we could do this, and it would improve my technological advantage. Now, again, too much technology is dangerous. We probably want to stop right about here. And I can always increase it later if I want to. Well... I mean, if we go high enough, like, we can get a technological advantage. That'll get rid of the uncompetitive uh, economy entirely. I think we go for maximum to start, and we can spend political capital to reduce it later. But for now, let's go for a tech advantage and see if that helps. Productivity is not looking that great. It is improving, which helps. The corporation tax apparently is still way too high. It's creating a very uncompetitive situation. We could reduce it a bit further. I don't see a lot of good coming out of that, though. Um, and then the payroll tax. No, I need to keep that as is right now. Yeah, I don't think I want to change this too much. Honestly, the economy is looking pretty good. It's really going to come down to trying to, um, electioneer some of the people to the degree that I want. Self-employed, I'm fine with being really unhappy. That doesn't matter to me. State employees is going to be pretty good. They're very happy. Membership has gone up, I think, a little bit. But not an absolute ton. Trade unionist membership is way too low. And it's because we have a lot of private industry. That's the big problem. As private industry continues to grow, it is taking away from union potential. We need to have state-run industries. That's going to have to become a goal of this series, I think. It's going to be basically replacing almost all of these with some degree, if not total degree, of private ownership of the means of production. I think we're going to have to try for that. Um, reducing immigration further that way won't do me much good. Oh, gosh, do we want to go for more border controls? It's just going to keep upsetting people. But we have to keep cracking down. I think we, I think we are going to hold on to our points for now. We're going to hold on to our points for now. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is going to be a relatively short video because next video will have a full year, plus we're going to get to do an election. 
We're looking pretty good. Popularity is honestly high enough that we should be able to win the election. Should. Worst come to worst, we'll just go ahead and like, I don't know. Wait, what is it saying down here? It's saying that I'm going down a liberal capitalist route? That can't be right. Pardon? Oh, no, 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 no. It's because our capitalism and liberalism membership keeps going up. Yeah, no, we gotta, we gotta pull this back. We've been going in the exact opposite direction. I didn't want a liberal capitalist play through this time around. We're supposed to be going this way. Gosh, dang it. Also, by the way, if you want to win elections, this little map mode right here is a pretty good way of getting an idea of what to do. Usually, you can look at this pretty quickly and decide what kind of a run you want to do based on what the population looks like. In this case, you probably want to be right around here in the moderate so you can attract as many groups as possible. But anyways, you All right. Well, I'm going to end this here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.